Hi, uh, my name is Chuck Ruthier, and I'm going to be uh, doing some lessons for my students at Sug Middle School. We are studying Scratch, and so I want to teach them how to make a um, Space Invader game. On my screen, you can see Space Invaders playing. Um, now, there's, it's just going to take too long to actually make this whole real game. We're just going to kind of make the basics of the game, the, a lot of the um, you know, our bullets will work, but these things aren't going to shoot at us, and we're not going to have these barriers working or anything. Um, but we're going to do the, the basic part of it. So um, I hope you guys are ready. All right, let's... Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Rob Easton. Hopefully someday I can meet this guy. He's, uh, he's over in the UK, and this is his website. Um, he's got some great activities that I have done just about all of these with my students, my sixth graders, and they love it. Um, okay, so students, the first thing we need are the um, the sprites. So if you go on the internet and you put in Easton Scratch, E-A-S-T-O-N and then S-C-R-A-T-C-H, that will take you, you'll see the um, uh, Rob Easton's website, EastonHome.co.uk. You can go there. You can go to the Space Invaders game, and then here is the download of our assets. These have the little sprites in them that we need. So you just click on that. It'll say Download Invader Zip. You can say Save. All right. You can throw it in your My Pictures folder, or you know your desktop, wherever you like. Hit the save button. Okay, and then you do the uh, open folder, and it opens your folder, and you should see this invaders.zip file. See the little zip on there? That means it's compressed. It means there's a bunch of files in there all shoved into one. It's kind of like a, um, it's kind of like an envelope full of stuff. So I'm just going to right click on that and I'm going to do extract all. I'm going to go next, next, finish. And then what you're going to see is a invaders folder will appear on your desktop. And if you double click on that, um, this gives you the basic uh, invader sprites. Okay, so I think we are probably ready to go now. Let us fire up Scratch, and here is Scratch. Hooray, and here's our cute little kitty. Everybody likes the kitty. Um, so let's start out. We're going to need a, um, a background. If you notice, the background is black. So let's click on our stage, and we'll go up to our backgrounds, and we just need to get this thing black. So you know how to do this, right? Click on the edit, grab the spilling paint bucket, the fill tool, it's already set to black. Click in there, I say OK, and it's beautiful. Now we have a nice Space Invader black background. OK, the kitty, we probably don't need this kitty, do we? <laughs> That'd be an interesting Space Invader game if we kept the cat. So now we have, um, we have a nice stage. Uh, why don't we start out with the um, the little spaceship that we control at the bottom that shoots? So let's go again to our star with our folder, and this will let us pull the spaceship from that little file uh, that we just downloaded. And isn't that nice? Um, it's right there for us. Now, if you don't see it right there, then you just click on your desktop. And then you'd look through here, and you'd look for a folder called Invaders. There it is. And then there'd be another folder called Invaders inside it. And there we go. So here's your ship. Kind of looks more like a the uh, you know a building or something. Okay, say okay to that. Look at that, Sprite One. Uh, now you guys are clever. I'm pretty sure you know what to do next. Uh, we need to make this thing move back and forth and and actually shoot. So let's bring this down. It's going to be at the bottom, if you remember from our watching that little game. And uh, who knows what to do? Raise your hand. Ah, you're correct. Um, 
we are going to have the the uh, let's have the left and right arrows control movement and the space key is going to be used for shooting okay so we we go to our yellow control section we find our when space keys pressed and let's do uh, left arrow so when we press the left arrow we want it to go left now if you're one of my students you know to go left um, is to move along the x-axis in a negative direction. To move right is to move along the x-axis in a positive direction. You can see, <laughs> I'm pointing to the computer. Can you see my finger? No, you can't. Okay, that's kind of stupid. Sorry, I lose my brain sometimes. But you can see um, that little x-y coordinates. As you move to the right, the numbers get higher. As you move to the left, they get uh, lower. It's just, it's part of math. See, I, I learned this in uh, in high school about the whole uh, Cartesian coordinate system, and I thought it was so pointless. But when you're making games, hooray! It actually makes sense, and it's useful. Okay, so let's go to the motion, the nice little blue thing, and we'll just say, move 10 steps to the left, and that, like I said, that's negative number, so let's put a minus 10 in there. Okay, let's go back to control. Let's do the right arrow. Very nice, and then we're going to move that 10 steps to the right, which is a positive number. So why don't we test that out? I'm going to press the right. Oh, that's nice. Left. Okay, that's beautiful. Wow. We're, we're off to a, a flying start like a herd of turtles. Now let's make it so that we can shoot. We're going to go to the control section. And when the space key is pressed, we will be uh, firing a bullet which we haven't created yet. So this space key is not too useful yet, is it? Okay, so let's, um, let's create a bullet. That seems like a good idea. Perhaps I should have done that before doing this. <laughs> uh, to create sprites, if you are my student, you know, you click on this little paintbrush and we will turn, this is a nice tiny size and let's turn um, it to white since you wouldn't be able to see a black bullet, would you? and then just draw a couple of sprites in a row. You can't even see it, can you? Hit OK. And oh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? We have drawn a cute little white bullet. Let's bring it down here to the top. Oh, isn't that nice? So sweet. Okay, um, now we wanna be able to shoot that bullet when we press the space key, right? So let's go back to sprite one. There's our when the space key is pressed. Um, when the space key is pressed, we want that bullet to, to fire. Uh, but guess what? Wouldn't it be easier? <laughs> Sorry about this. Probably should practice this before I do it, huh? Uh, let's just get rid of this, and let's go to the bullet. There we go. It's much easier when you're doing things to have, you know, if we're talking about the bullet, let's program it in the bullet section, right? Okay, so let's go to control when the space key is pressed. Good. Then, uh, let's see. When the space key is pressed, then we want the bullet to move up. Okay. Now, we are going to, um, we're going to be going up. That's the Y axis. Okay, so we're going to use change y by 10. And let's see what happens when we do that. Okay, that's not too exciting. So why don't we try repeating that? Let's go back to our control in the yellow. And you guys see where it says repeat 10? Let's bring that in. And we'll try repeat 10, change y by 10, and then see what happens. All right, get down here, you. Okay, that's nice. It goes up about that far. How about we repeat 30 times? Oops, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, now I can't reach the stupid thing. Get down here. All right, why don't we tell it... <laughs> I can't reach the bullet. Why don't we tell it the bullet to go sit with the, um, with the shooter? Do um, you remember how to do that? We click on the motion which is this nice blue thing. And let's tell 
the bullet to go to sprite one. And we'll do that right at the beginning when the space key pressed. Okay, bullet to sprite one. Okay, so let's press the bullet. That looks pretty good, except it, it doesn't get all the way there. Why don't we just change our repeat to 35? And now we'll try again. All right, that's beautiful. So now I can move left and shoot and right and shoot. Okay, so we have the beginnings of a game. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Um, why don't we take a, take a pause and then I'll come back in the next video. And let me see if I can find my controls. Okay, cool. See you then.